The world has a food problem, but it is not just about growing food. We need to grow good food, nutritious food, and we need to grow that food without harming the planet. Agriculture is both a contributor to climate change, it will be affected by climate change, and it could also be a solution to climate change. One of the most promising ways to address that problem is that of data-driven agriculture. That is, if you could capture data from the farm, from different parts of the farm, and then use artificial intelligence on top of that data to add value, to be able to predict things that you otherwise cannot sense, cannot measure, you can then use that to improve efficiencies in agriculture. My name's Andrew Nelson. I'm a fifth generation farmer in Eastern Washington. We farm about 8,000 acres. We live here with my family. I have two little boys and my wife works in a town nearby. I'm also an active software engineer, so I like to combine my passions of software and agriculture. So I do a lot of precision ag on our farm. This year we had the second driest year on record. Uh, last year we had one of the wettest years on record. So we're continually facing different challenges on our farm and that's where I like to utilize technology to help me overcome those challenges as best as I can. As we researchers and Microsoft Research build new technology, we give it to Andrew to try it out in his farm. Andrew tries it out, adds his agricultural knowledge to see how that could make this technology even more powerful. So one of the biggest challenges with deploying IoT systems in remote locations is the lack of connectivity. Uh, so even if you go out and deploy sensors in a farm field, you need a way to get all that data to the cloud. We're able to bridge that gap by using TV white spaces. TV white spaces are unused TV spectrum and they're really great when it comes to the agriculture scenario because they can travel very long distances. So what we've done as part of the Farm Beats project is create this end-to-end -end IoT system that actually uses TV white spaces to both enable connectivity and also send sensor data to the cloud. In order to enable precision agriculture, a farmer needs to know what the farm looks like. Not just what's above the soil, also what's below the soil. One way to create that view is if you can bring data from sensors, if you can bring data from satellite imagery, from drone imagery, using artificial intelligence and computer vision techniques, you can merge all of these different data streams to create views of the farm that you otherwise just couldn't get. With one drone flight, we can generate 15 to 20 gigabytes worth of data. And we're able to see the data that comes back immediately. I'm starting to have self-reinforcing loops. I can take a drone flight, it'll inform my spray decision, which I can then see results from my weather station in the field. And I can manage my field in a much more granular approach. I'm going from managing things field by field to managing it acre by acre, or even in smaller increments. It's saving a lot in time, it's saving a lot in cost, and I think it's helping us control any issues we have on our farm to a better degree. These use cases can be applicable across multiple industries. For example, the oil and gas industry, some of the TV white space solutions could help solve their problem. The supply chain industry and the wind and solar energy producers would love to know, you know what the solar predictions or the wind predictions would be, where some of the microclimate predictions could sort of help them solve that problem. These are all fundamental computer science challenges where we as computer scientists need to work together with the other scientists in the space so technology can help with climate adaptation. And technology can also help with agriculture becoming a solution to this problem. We are confident using some of the technologies that we are building that we will be able to overcome this challenge.